There's a reason why Governor Romney set up the plan that he did in Massachusetts. It wasn't a government takeover of health care. It was the largest expansion of private insurance. But what it does say is that insurers, you've got to take everybody. Now, that also means that you've got more customers. But when, when Governor Romney says that he'll replace it with something, but can't detail how it will be, in fact, replaced, and the reason he set up the system he did in Massachusetts was because there isn't a better way of dealing with the pre-existing conditions problem. Our chief White House correspondent, Nancy Cordes, has been here in Denver watching the debate. And Nancy, uh, what did you make of the president's performance this evening? And did he accomplish what he set out to do? Well, Scott, as you saw in that clip, the president went on offense early and often, and this debate now, really have... could have turned into a referendum on everything he's done over the past four years. To a surprising degree, it did not. He kept the pressure on Governor Romney on two of his policies that have caused Romney the most trouble in this campaign, his tax plan and his Medicare plan. Romney has struggled to explain what he would do, and the president kept going back to those proposals over and over again. On the downside for the president, you could clearly see the influence of those 23 Republican primary debates that Romney participated in. He was very energetic, probably more energetic than the president. And most tellingly, Scott, I haven't gotten a single email from the Obama campaign yet contending that the president was the winner tonight. Nancy, you mentioned all of that practice that uh, Mr. Romney had. You know, we totaled it up earlier today. Our research department and the Republican candidates during their primaries had more than 50 hours of televised debates. So that is a lot of practice.